Yeah, well, I misspelled vacation on that. I missed the fact that I misspelled it. I just went live. I'm probably going to get a few people write me back. Uh, dude, vacation's V A C T I O N. You know what? It looked like, it looked like I wrote Vatican. <laughs> it, that's the beauty of online. You know, when you make mistakes, it makes people react and they message you and say, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then you have a conversation. <laughs> exactly right. Exactly. You misspelled that, right? You misspelled that. I appreciate that. Thank you for letting me know. But um, it's funny, you know, Danny, because we, you know, just, I've had a few people recently. Um, that, you know, when you look at like Pastor Deborah Taylor, you know, just like you, I mean, she's been going from one resort to the next resort, to the next resort, to the next resort. I mean, absolutely out there just living the life. Right. And of course she was doing that with her husband, Guy. And, you know, they, they were retired. They were just kind of do this for a part-time thing. And, you know, they told a few who told a few. And next thing you knew, I mean, Guy was making 24 grand a year with us and Deborah was making 30 to 40 grand a year with us. Well, then, you know, a little bit over a year ago, you know, a guy passed on. He went to be with the Lord. And obviously that was devastating and heartbreaking. A lot of us, like me and Pastor Mel talked about Guy just today. Uh, but, you know, Deborah kept getting paid on Guy's business. And so that 24000 a year the Guy was making continues to come in week after week, month after month. Deborah's still getting paid in all of that book of business. Well, in the meantime, you know, Deborah's business goes from, you know, making forty grand a year to making over hundred grand a year. And Guy... He's not even alive. His business goes from 24,000 a year to now he's making 30 to 40 grand a year. I mean, the guy got a pay raise, right? I mean, I, mean, I, I made that comment the other day and I say it with all due reverence and respect because everybody loves a guy, but I mean, it makes the point that, I mean, how many of you are out there busting your butt every day? You can't get a pay raise. And here's someone that's you know up with the heavenly father, not even here on earth anymore. And he got a pay raise, right? I mean, you might be start scratching your head thinking, I mean, Maybe I bought the wrong plan, right? I bought the wrong plan. And so that's a big part of what we try to educate people. So, hey, by the way, whether you're wanting to travel for less, whether you're wanting to travel for free, because we can help you travel at the travel agent rate, travel for less. We can show you how to book incredible vacations at the travel agent rate. And then we allow you to earn your points for free, okay? You can earn your points for free, which means you're earning points every single month for free. Danny's doing it. I'm doing it. My wife's doing it. My kids are doing it. My buddy Ryan Vanderpool's doing it. I see Mike O'Dell on here. Mike's doing it. I see my buddy Norm on here. Norm's doing it. I see Kayla. Kayla's doing it. I see Andrew. He's doing it. I see Bob. You're doing it. I see, you know, Dr. Phyllis Terry. You're doing it. I see, you know, Pastor Mel. He's doing it. I see, you know, uh, uh, Tanya Evans. She's doing it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, everywhere you look, people, hey, I went and told three people how to save big time money on travel. I'm now earning my points for free every single month. And I'm turning those points into unbelievable vacations. And so, you know, Danny, I, Gene and I just got back from uh, Cabo San Lucas. We were down there seven nights, eight days at a five-star resort, oceanfront room, had this, uh, this hammock on our balcony. And you could just lay in the hammock. I mean, the waves are crashing. I mean, it sounds like they're 10 feet from you, right? And you just lay there and you feel the ocean breeze. You hear the waves. I mean, they built this place a couple of years ago, brand new, unbelievable. And we were down there for zero dollars and zero cents. We just traded in our points. It was 1,300 points. Well, you know, my wife told three people, so she's earning her points every month, 250 per month. I told three people I'm earning my points every month, 250 per month. So between the two of us, we're earning 500 points per month. Well, that's two and a half months worth of points. And we're going on an eight day vacation for nothing, zero. And we're going to turn around and go to New Orleans here in July. Then we're going to hook up with you in Paris. And then we're going to go to Madrid. We're going to Tenerife. We're going to Rome. Uh, and you've been on the road now for how long? I mean, you're, I mean, it's like, where's, where's Danny? That almost became like a game, right? <laughs> where's Danny today? You know, it, it felt weird being home. Honestly, after after coming back from Cabo, from Mexico for the last, for four months, it felt weird to be at home. And I was only home for maybe two weeks. And then I took my mom to Punta Cana for three weeks, came back. And I just sat there. I was I was in my living room. I just sat there and I'm like, what am I doing here? Like, I felt like this. I was not in my comfort zone. I'm like, I need to go somewhere. I need to to meet people, interact people, uh, uh, be product of the product. So I looked at the calendar. I'm like, OK, Paris is in August. I'm in June right now. <laughs> how, how, can I, how can I get to Paris? I mean, how am I going to do it? Do I just wait a couple of days before and August 8th, take a plane to go for four nights, five days in Paris? I said, why would I do that? It doesn't make sense. I got to still pay the same plane anyways. So why not just leave and meet people? So I said, you know what? Let me look at the calendar. Let me, look, let me think about it. And I said, you know what? It made sense. So I left 
And the, 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 the cheapest flight that I found was through London. That's, that's one of the reasons why I went because the, Hey, there was a cheap flight to cross the ocean and go to London. I'm like, wait a minute. Todd Strand always travels when he meets partners. So why not meet one of my partners in London? I'm like, then I got excited. I'm like, wait a minute. I got, I got people that have friends in London. Let me go over there. And it just so happened to be the Wimbledon at the same time. And I got to take pictures and do videos. So that, that was fun. I'm like, okay, what do I do next? I said, well, I still need to get to um, Thailand because there's a world tour that I booked also. So I'm like, well, how do I get to Thailand? Okay, so I need to take a flight to Bahrain. Do you know, I don't know if you ever heard that, that place called Bahrain. I never heard that place in my life. Like, I've, heard, I've, heard, I've heard of it, but don't ask me to find it on a map. <laughs> <laughs> what is Bahrain? Yeah. And, I'm like, and it's probably the, the most beautiful airport that I've ever seen in my life. I mean, it was, I mean, sophisticated, beautiful. I'm like, I got to go back to that place. So connection there. And then I'm like, well, the cheapest flight just so happened to be, I need to go to Maldives. <laughs> <laughs> right and Maldives sure. is like one, <laughs> Maldives is one of the places that you know I know is as our CEO like number one like he's in his bucket list and so many people that's the, on their bucket list and me I'm like I have to go just because the, the flight was you know was less expensive and you know why not so <laughs> and I'm going to Maldives and uh visited so many places I'm like I didn't even realize it until like people told me it's like they're like Danny are you in Maldives I'm like yeah like Hello, like pictures, videos. I'm like, ah, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. You know, it wasn't part of the plan, but I'm here and I'm enjoying it because you can't go to Maldives and, you know, not enjoy it fully. So I, I fully enjoyed it. And then from there, I'm like, well, I still need to go to Phuket. I still need to go to my world tour. But hey, how am I going to get there, right? Well, how about I go to Bangkok first? <laughs> <laughs> right? but, uh, you know, and again, it wasn't the cheapest flight to go. So right now, this, this is my background. I'm in Bangkok right now. And uh, a uh, beautiful, beautiful city. So many temples. Look at that. Uh, it's just, it, 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 it's a different world. It's a different world. Uh, made some contacts here, made some friends, went to see some temples, crazy temples. People go and pray every day. And I mean, it's just, wow. I saw what I saw the, the golden, golden Buddha. I mean, I think he's like, I don't know how many pounds or whatever, but pure gold, uh, just wow, just I would have never seen any of that if it wasn't for this opportunity. If I think back, not even um, what, three years ago, I never thought about coming to Thailand. I mean, you see it, you see people doing it, you see people, sure. you know, and I'm, it's like, I have no business there. Why am I going to go there? Oh, you know, vacation. Eh, why well, go all the way there? I mean, Mexico's right down here. You know, you got Miami over here, <laughs> right? You have, you have Vegas over there. Why am I going to go all the way there for vacation? But the reason people don't travel that much is because they don't have the money. At the end of the day, the truth is they don't have the money and even worse, they don't have the freedom, the freedom to do it, right? Being able for me to say, I'm going to leave and I'm just going to go. I, I did the math and I'm gone for 55 days, 55 days. I got to pay hotel, resort, feed myself, right? For 55 days in a row. But I get daily pay, what we're talking about. We make money online no matter where we are. So my daily pay, my weekly pay, I don't have to worry. I'm like, well, you look at cost per day, how much money I make per day. You don't need to be a millionaire. And that's another point that's really important is um, David tells that, tells that to me all the time. And I laugh because I'm hungry. I want to make money. I love money, right? I, I want to have so much money that I never have to worry about. It. I want to be able to walk, to go into a city. I want to be able to be in Cabo and say, is this for sale? Okay, let me call my let me call my bank. Let me let me just wrap this up. It's a condo, three hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, I mean, just wrap this up. I want to have that kind of money. Not everybody wants it, but I want to have the, that kind of money. So, but I remember every time I talk to David about money, he's like, "Bro, bro, you're gonna make so much money, you have no idea. But you don't even need all of that money." I'm like, "What do you mean?" He goes, "Do you think there's a real difference in your lifestyle between making twenty k a month and thirty k a month, or you know, making fifty k? Do you really think there's gonna be a difference?" And I, I and I, I was like, I always think about it afterwards. Like we, we like we, the conversation stops. I'm like, what does he mean? I want to make a million a month, and this guy's telling me there's no difference. <laughs> but <laughs> when I travel, right? But when I travel like this, and I realize I don't need to have fifty thousand dollars income this month to live what I'm living right now, right? You look at the comp plan. You look at the the, the every rank that you hit. You know, from one star, two star, three star, four star. 
uh, ambassador, one star ambassador, two star ambassador, and you break it down. When you take care of all your bills, you're the experts for that because I know I know I know you how straight you are with your money. But when you take when you look at all your expenses and you see all the extra you have, you're like, well, I could do a lot of things, right? I can have the life that I want. And that's what's powerful. We can have the life that we want. And it's not about, you know, we're not selling the dream. That's what I love about this company. Um, we don't sell dreams here, we sell facts. And I said that on a live last night. I said, Everybody, you know, we get approached all the time. I'm sure, Todd, you probably get approached. I get approached all the time. Hey, there's a new thing. Oh, my God, you can make so much money here. It's like, but why can I just not do my money over here? There's so many ways to make money. We're not, there's no shortage of how to make money, okay? Just choose the way that you want to make money. And I think this way makes sense, right? This way makes sense. If you love to travel, this makes sense. Not only do you save them money, your membership, you don't pay for it. Right. And then you make money and then you do whatever you want with it. How many companies, Todd, you, you could talk about that real quick. How many companies, how many, um, you know, I mean, companies, how many people in the world incentivize everything with travel? Like, oh, if you do this, I'll take you on the trip. If you do that, if you hit this goal, we'll take you to Punta Cana. If you do this, but we're already in it. This, this is what we do. You know, like, this is our lifestyle. We, we have that on a regular basis. And um, when you think about money, okay, and then I'll flip it to you, Todd. When you think about money, so you take care of your rent, your house, your roof. That's really important. You got to have a place to sleep. Nobody ain't trying to sleep on the street. Mm, we ain't about that life, right? We want a roof. Then you want to make sure that there's food under that roof. You got to eat. That's the basic need of the world, right? A place to sleep, right? A place to rest. And you want to be able to eat. You want food. Okay, so you take that out. Now maybe there's transportation. Why? Because you got to go to work. You know, you don't want to walk to work, ideally. You know, maybe you have a car or whatever. You have transportation. So you, you, take, that, you, you take that into account. But what, how, many, how, how many different other things do you add that you have to cover? Eventually, you're going to be like, okay, what do I do with this extra money? And that's where we come in. The extra money is, the, what's the number one activity that people spend their money? Right, they, it's their lifestyle. They want to enjoy it, and travel is the number one thing that people spend their money to be happy and have a smile on their face. Right, everything else is covering fundamentals. After you cover the fundamentals, you want to be happy. So this is it. So I, I, when people talk to me like, "Hey, Danny, come and do this crypto thing," I'm like, "Why? That does not make me happy. That makes me stressful. <laughs> I can lose money." <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I could lose money on this crypto thing. That's, what, that's when you start playing with money. And if the crypto thing or your, your whatever that you was so great, Warren Buffett would be on it, right? That's my, that's my cue for them. It's like, if your thing could 10X my money that easy, man, if you show me Warren Buffett is in it, call me. I'm going to follow that man. I'm going to follow that man. But if Warren Buffett is not in your company because you could 10X that money, I can't touch it. I can't touch it, right? So we have the number one thing is travel, create memories. And I see we got beautiful ladies here tonight, Kayla and Tanya. They're, they're, they're pros. They're pros at creating memories, at showing people that travel is life. Yeah, as you were as you were talking about, you know, we don't sell a dream here. We sell a new reality. It's kind of what you said. I love that line, Dan. You're going to hear me say that again and again. And I'll tell people, well, Danny once said, then I'll say, I once heard, and I'll say, again. as I've been telling everybody, right? We don't sell dreams here. <laughs> we call that the rule of three to ownership, right? And so the first time you got to quote Danny, second time you say, I once heard, third time you say, as I've always said, right? Uh, but, but I love that. You know, we don't sell dreams. We sell a new reality. And I, I had, uh, you know, Kayla come on. We also have Tanya Evans here. I was trying to grab uh, Alicia. She's available. Um, she got her entire family going to Putacana, 23 different family members. We're going to talk in New Orleans. They're going to be coming back from the trip, right? Uh, but I want to bring Kayla on here first and foremost, just for a moment, because, you know, Kayla works for the post office. In fact, there she is. She's got her post office <laughs> uniform on. She's out doing her J-O-B, right? She's got her hat on. She's delivering the mail, right? An everyday working person, been with the post office. How many years, Kayla? 20? 20, 24. 24. 24 years. Mm -hmm. So 24 years, you're an everyday person trying to you know, put a roof over your head and feed your family, that kind of thing. And, and yet you got involved with our company. And before our company, you traveled how often? Once a year on a payment plan with the travel agent. 
And yeah, let me just tell you, the prices that I pay now does not come anywhere close to how much I was paying uh, traveling once a year with a travel agent. So you got involved with our company, right? It's just a short time ago or so a short while ago. And how many trips did you go on last year? Last year, I actually took seven trips last year. Seven trips. And, <laughs> yeah, seven trips. And no, they were not in my backyard. <laughs> All right. So where, where'd we go? Where'd we go? I went to Memphis, Tennessee. I went to L.A. I went to Washington, D.C. I went to Dubai. I went to Cancun. I went to South Carolina. And I did do one staycation for my birthday here. So that was my seven trips last year. Absolutely incredible. And, and when I, I heard Danny talk about what he was talking about, right? And I happened to see your name over there. I'm like, man, I didn't know if you were available. I just saw you on here. So I just say, man, maybe, maybe she's available to tell that story. Because Danny, I just think it makes the point you were making so well when you see everyday real people, you know, not talking about some dream, right? But they're actually out there going to Dubai, going to Cancun, going on seven trips in one year. You got more trips coming up. Where are you going this year? This year, uh, I've already taken one trip. I took the grandbabies to Florida. We went to Orlando because I'm the Mimi. I'm the grandma that I give my grandkids every year a trip for their birthday. That's the other beautiful thing about this company that it affords me to open them up to the world and let them know it's no limits because that that is one of my morals that I, I have taught my daughters so I'm going to instill that same moral standard into my grandkids no limits God is limitless so June we went to Orlando I will be meeting you guys in um, New Orleans in a couple of weeks that's my birthday week so if y'all see my new profile picture because of Trevorium, I'm doing a lot of personal growth, a lot of inner healing and all this good stuff. So for my 55th birthday, I did a professional photo shoot. So all these pictures will be starting to get uploaded. And I and that, and Is that the picture I saw here on Zoom tonight? You had a brand yes, new picture up. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah I was, I was going to say, man, you look... You, <laughs> You look good. <laughs> yeah, look good. I'm step. I'm stepping. I'm stepping into. I'm like Kayla. Fall. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> she going yeah. out tonight. <laughs> I'm stepping into 55 with a plan and a purpose. That and and it's all thanks to Tavorium. Tavorium has been a platform and a tool that has in, ignited things in me that has been dormant for a long time. And wow. now it's open. So, yeah, so I'll be in New Orleans and then we're taking, we're coming to Paris and my mom's birthday is next Wednesday. So me and my sister and both of my daughters, we are all are members and have a, our own membership. So we're taking my mom for her 75th birthday to Paris. Wow. I'll, hold on. So, okay. So I know this whole thing kicked off with you taking your granddaughter on a dream vacation. This is actually a couple of years ago. In 2020. Disney. Yeah, that mm -hmm. was that was in 2020. That was a dream vacation before the pandemic, by the way, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in 2020, yes. Yes. before the pandemic happened, I mean, there was this big dream vacation taking your granddaughter to Disneyland, right? And and, and Disney World and never been there before. Correct. Now you just made it, hey, every grandkid gets to go to Disney because you went there again. You know, every every grandkid yes. gets a birthday a trip automatically, like it's no big deal. Well, at one moment it was a dream. I mean, that was your initial dream. If I could just take them on this trip, that would be incredible. Now it's like, okay, yeah, everybody gets one. And in addition to that, I'm also going to New Orleans. Uh, I'm also, yeah, we're going to Paris. In fact, we're taking my mom for her 70th birthday to Paris. I mean, you're almost like so nonchalant now. Like most people are like, holy crap, you've already been to Disney. You're going to New Orleans. Now you're going to Paris. You went to Dubai last year. It's like, who are you? You, you still work at the post <laughs> office, right? <laughs> so I do. I do. But yes, you know, I really do. And, and, my, and my customers, they're like, yeah, uh, I, some of them have my number so they'll call me are you at work are you on vacation I'm like okay because I actually had a customer call me while I was in uh, Orlando with the grandkids I'm like baby girl I'm not even there I won't be back for another two three weeks so whatever you got going on you need to contact the uh, management I can't help you <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm vacationing with my family <laughs> very nice very nice well, we also have on here Miss Tanya Evans. Uh, by the way, you're both one stars in the business, right? So uh, these are both people that are not, they're not just got their three and free. These are people that are earning 
you know, five to 8,000 per year, extra money with the company. And that's just a pit stop. Their businesses are growing. No time at all to be two stars making 24 grand a year, just like Guy was doing. Then they'll be making 40 grand a year, just like Deborah Taylor was doing. Then they'll be making six figures a year, like Deborah Taylor. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's a ladder, right? But, but Tanya, you've been a few places too. We hung out in Hawks K together. That's where I first yes. met you and Chris. But I, I mean, you, I mean, tell me about the trips. Tell me about your experience, your thoughts. Oh, well, I came in, I think I came in September 2017. Well, no, 2019. That was before COVID. And I came into this business because I needed a break. My, I just buried my son in 2017. So I was like, I needed an escape. Trevorium literally saved my life. Um, I'm originally from Cleveland and my grandparents have dementia. So I'm back and forth between North Carolina and Cleveland, Ohio to help with the care with them. But I get to spend that time and I'm also a grandma. So I'm able to take my grandkids to go see their grandmother, which will be their great, great grandmother. I mean, grandparents, which is pretty cool. But you know, people, I mean, our families are getting older, but I'm almost three years in now, 23 trips under my belt. I've been, you know, I've done a couple of dreamcations. I mean, I'm definitely, I'm trying to be like Danny. Um, where's Tanya? Where's Tanya going next? Cause, but um, up on the books this year, we're going to New Orleans. I'll see you and Kayla in New Orleans at the end, um, in a couple of weeks, actually, yeah. at less than 14 days, which I'm pretty excited about. And um, I'm going to stop in Atlanta on my way from, because I'm driving. So I'm going to drive from North Carolina and go to Atlanta, maybe say hey to Marcy Thomas, my partner in crime on Friday nights. Nice. And um, then I'll go to New Orleans the next day and do the same way on the way back and before I go back to Cleveland. Because my grandparents, just, you know, grandma just getting out of the hospital. So I'm going to be up there. But I'm going to be all over and I'm going to take some trips in between. And I'm going to Cancun. Fingers crossed. If the sun don't, as Pastor Mel say, if the sun don't rise and the creek don't make me drown. Oh, y'all know, know what I'm saying. But I'll be in Cancun, Mexico in November. So pretty exciting. And I can write it all off. So, hey, it just makes sense to me. You know, it's funny you bring that up because, you know, Danny, we're going to be doing the training in New Orleans. And one of the big things is Cynthia Sly. Um, and, and you guys, some of you don't know Cynthia, but she's built teams over 14,000 people. And she's a beast. She's made, I mean, made big money in this industry. And she got involved in the industry 28 years ago because of the tax deductions you can take. Well, I don't want to use any names. I want to protect the, you know, the, the protection people here. But uh, we have a young lady in our business. And she called me yesterday, Tanya. And she's got a business that's growing down below her on, on one leg. I think that she's close to almost 5,000 volume on one side. And she calls up, she goes, hey, I just got hammered by the IRS. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep my membership. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Call me right now. Call me right now. I, I mean, number one, I understand you got hammered by the IRS. I understand that you know, they're wanting $300 a month from you, okay? But number one, you've got this huge leg down one side. If we go get one person on the other side right? I mean, your business can pay you 40000 a year. This is the one thing you are not giving up. I don't care if you cancel cable TV and start packing lunches. You are not giving this up. Number two, you may not know this, but you can write off your house, spouse, kids, meals, travel, entertainment. She did not know that. She heard of it, but did not know that. I go, you can take all of those write-offs, okay? That's going to save you ballpark three to 5000 Show that you put it nice in front center. She's got a brochure. Go ahead, Tony. Put it up there a little closer. I'll go, Sam. will pay you to run a home-based business. The number one secret a lot of financial planners are teaching people, if you have a home business, you can save three to 5,000 per year in taxes. And so when I got done talking, she's like, holy crap, I can literally pay the IRS the money they just hammered me on with their own money because I have a home-based business. So I'm like, yes, this it is just makes sense. You money. It's making you money. And so many people don't know that. I mean, it's when you don't get a home business or someone says, well, you know, if I join Trevorium, it might cost me 69 a month at Titanium. 125 month of platinum. Of course, if you get three, you're free and you got free vacations. But what if I don't get three? You're still, as long as you're running your business with an intention for a profit, saving almost 5,000 a year in taxes, meaning you're saving way more in taxes than it costs to belong to the membership. Whose side are you on, right? Whose side are you on? And it's a legitimate question. And so anyway, there's so many facets to why people should be doing this, but 
uh, you know, Danny, I know you're sitting here listening to Kayla. You yeah. listen to Tanya. I don't know if you have any questions for Miss Tanya. Yeah, um, I was I was gonna say, you know what? The the main thing that that doesn't make sense. I mean, think about it this way: if you go to, I don't know, you go to the store, and you realize you can't buy something, what's the problem? Money, right? That's money, right? If the IRS calls you and say, hey, you owe us, you know, X amount of dollars, what's the problem? Money. If your car breaks down, you need new tires, new brakes, new paint. What's the problem? Money, right? Uh, if the cable guy cuts off your Wi-Fi, your internet, or your phone, what's the problem? Money. So at the end of the day, if, if the number one problem to all your problem is the lack of money, the last thing that should be on your mind is to give up an opportunity to make money. <laughs> that it, it doesn't make, like, we're trying to help people and you think we're trying to hurt them. Like we're trying to put more zeros in your bank account. You cannot have a shortage of money because you don't know what's going to happen. The best insurance is money, right? The best insurance someone can have on earth is money. Because if you got money, that's, that's insurance right there. People take money. You, need, you have a problem, the solution, money. So when someone looks at their business and say, Danny, you know what? I don't think I can keep paying this auto shit. <laughs> I said, well, your problem is not the auto ship. Your problem is money. <laughs> so, so you're canceling your auto ship and that'll make things better for you, right? Basically, you're removing the only solution you currently have in your hand. It don't make no sense. Tell me, how are you going to solve the problem that you ain't got no money? Okay, let's pretend you're brave enough and, you know, you want to cancel the membership. Okay, what are you going to do? Tell me. Talk to me. Tell me what's your plan. If your plan is better than my plan, I'll sign up. How can you make money without an opportunity? Tell me. Well, um, I saw this ad. Um, they're looking for people at the 7-Eleven night shift. Are you kidding me right now? You're already working during the day. You come home, you're tired. You got no time with your family, and you're going to pick up another job, another shift. And when you pick up the extra shift, the RS is going to say what? Oh, you're making more money? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to recalculate this thing out. We got to calculate this thing out. We, you, know, we, we, you can't keep all the money. You can't keep all of it. I got to take some more. So now you're still not even ahead. You're giving eight more hours a day, and you're really taking home maybe two or three hours of that money. You're not moving forward. It doesn't make sense. The key to financial freedom is to make money while you sleep. Can we say that? Can we say that out loud? The key to financial, financial freedom, freedom is to make, make money, money while, while we sleep. sleep. Every single one of us have a chance, the opportunity to make money while we sleep. Whatever opportunity, whatever problem you have is money, you need to make money while you sleep. And then you got to employ your money because your money's unemployed. But you got to make money first. You got to make money first. Oh, Danny, you know, I found this thing where I could put a couple of dollars over there and money will come back. Well, you don't have enough money to put over there anyways. You're short. You got to make your money work. You got to make, you got to give a job to your money, but you got to make the money first. And, and then check this out. If you get another job, they ain't going to do nothing. The more money you make, the more they going to tax you. So Uncle Sam is going to get it back. So why not? I mean, come on now. When, when you know better, you're supposed to do better, right? Exactly. It's just common sense. So our opportunity is for people to make more money. At the end of the day, it's, it's straight up. That's what it is, right? Because we ask the question. We ask the question. The question number one, do you plan to travel next 24, day, 24 months? That's people that got money. I mean, if you plan to travel, I hope you plan to have money. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere, right? That's question number one. Question number two, right? Are you open to making more money? We can say it so many ways. Are you open to opportunity? Are you open to change your life? Are you open to better life? Are you open to uh, uh, be able to give something to your grandkids? You, whatever, how we say it, at the end of the day, it's just we're trying to add zero to your bank account. Are you allergic to freaking money? I was about to say uh, another word, but I, I heard that Todd cuss, cuss, cuss last <laughs> night. I don't want to cuss today. I told Dan last night, <laughs> and I'll say it again, right? But last night, and I want to back up with Dan. He says, one second, right? The passion said, came out in time, yeah. He says, when you have to, he says, when you, when Danny says, you got to find a way to make money while you sleep, right? I mean, that's, that's Warren Buffett. That's the fifth richest guy. And the entire world telling you that that's not just Danny saying that that's just not me saying that that's not just Kayla and Tanya saying that right that's the fifth richest guy in the entire world now maybe the yeah is there anybody else yeah Jay Paul Getty said the same thing he, he, I'd rather earn one percent off the efforts of 100 people than 100 percent of my own efforts was well, there anybody else yeah a guy named Robert Kiyosaki 
wrote the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad, outlined the cash flow quadrant. 95% are over here. They're broke because they have to go to work to make money. The 5% over here control 95% of the money. Fantastic book, right? Look at that right there. Cash flow quadrant. That right there. Read that book. It changed your life. This is what we're trying to teach you. And so last night, I'm doing the Zoom, and I told Danny this, right? I go, people are being taught the wrong thing. They're being taught, go to school. They're being taught, get a degree. They're being taught, get a job. I said, that stuff worked in my father's era. By the way, my dad turned 77 on Monday. I mean, it worked in his era. College became a business opportunity. If you went and got that golden piece of paper back in the 1950s, right? I mean, you were in like Flynn. You go to work for some company. You'd be there your whole life. They would promote you through the ranks, right? One person's all it took to work to provide for the entire family, right? You would, you would eventually sail off into the sunset with this incredible pension. And it sounds like a rerun of Leave it to Beaver or the Brady Bunch or Eight's Enough or whatever show you end up watching. My three sons, I don't care what, what show you watch, right? It's one of them shows. I mean, that is not what is happening in today's marketplace, right? And yet they're still teaching this. And the bad word I used last night was it's just bullshit. It is. It's bullshit. It is not true. <laughs> And people have been led down the wrong path. And it's like, sometimes you want to shake the screen for a moment and say, look around. I mean, look at anybody that's, you know, got a J-O-B that's, that's you, know, you know, sailing into the promised land and you can't find them. And so it's like, at some point, you, you know, a job is a wonderful thing. I don't want you to take this the wrong way. I'm not against mm -hmm. a job. A job is an incredible way to put food on the table this week, put a roof over your head, have a car to drive, take care of your family. Vitally important, right? Getting a job, nothing wrong. But a job is where you start, not where you want to finish. You start with a job, you get a little part-time thing going on the side. Eventually, you build that up to the place where, you know what? I'm making twice as much on my part-time thing as I am on a full-time thing. You call your boss, I can't afford to work here no more. And now you, you bought your life back doing what you want, when you want, with whom you want, right? And eventually, that continues to grow to the point you're no longer even alive, but your family is still getting the cash flow from that business every single week, every single month, just like Deborah Taylor is doing now. That is the formula for getting ahead, but they're not teaching it in school. And too many people are going back and doing the 7-Eleven thing like Danny thought, like, I need a second job. Maybe I can get a third job and trying to cut back and never seeing their family. And this, this ain't no dress rehearsal, right? Life is going by quickly. I mean, I just turn, I'm going to turn 52 in three months. Can I believe it? I, mean, I feel like I just turned 50 three months ago. And already now I'm 52. It's like, did we miss a year? I mean, it's like, I mean, it just keeps going like this, right? I'm looking at my grandsons and I feel like they were just born. I'm looking at the pictures and now I got my one grandson 11, the other's eight, you know, and he's up to here on me. Like, what happened to my little cutie patootie? And so, I mean, life is going by fast. This is not a dress rehearsal, but a lot of you are like, well, you know, someday I'll do this. And, you know, someday I'll, you got to get off that island of someday aisle and start being like Tanya, like Kayla, like Danny. You know what? No, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. I'm going to live today. I'm going to make things happen today. I'm going to do something about it today. I'm going to join something where I can start to change my fortunes today. It may not happen overnight. Danny, you were here for years of what? A year as a customer before you went yeah, to work? Yeah. Yeah. But now you got this. Year. I lost the whole year. You know how much money I lost that year? Okay, that's another <laughs> life. That's another. That's, that, I'm, I mean, I mean, man, how much money? Oh, boy. My bank account is mad. My bank account looked at me like, bro, really? Like, <laughs> really? like what? You think I wasn't going to take the money? Like, you thought like, I was going wrong? <laughs> like, really? You thought I was allergic, but I ain't. I'm not allergic. Yeah, I I allergic. You, I'm not I'm allergic to money. <laughs> no, what, is, what is wrong with this evolution, people? Right? What is wrong with, you know, ha going to school, having a job, and then getting out and having money while you sleep? What is wrong with that path? What, 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 is, what is the problem? Why are people are against leaving a job to have money coming in while they sleep? What's wrong with that progression, right? You got to accept it's part of it. You start, you make money, you go, you get a, you go to school, get a job, and then you start a business. It's part of the evolution. We have, we have to grow. I met this girl, these two girls last night uh, taking the train, the, the, the subway to go to Terminal 21. By the way, this mall is just crazy here. And this girl, I just walked up and I said, excuse me, you speak English? That, I love saying that. Excuse me, you speak my language because I, I, I'm foreign, right? You speak English? And uh, the two girls looked at me like, wonder not, nah, you know? But uh, yes, we do. But they answered in their own language first, you know, just to freak me out. They're like, wonder not? I'm like, ah, like, oh, they don't speak English. Then they go, yes, we do. We speak English. And they had this uh, this outfit. 
And I'm like, oh, they probably in school, right? I'm like, oh, well, you're in school, what? And, I, and then I was like, okay, you're in school, uh, like you're, you're just coming back from school. Like, oh, we're studying to be doctors. I was like, oh, wow, right? Yeah. They're on their third year of a six year plan. I said, any spe specialty, anything like that? She's like, no, we don't know, but we'll figure it out, you know? I'm like, okay. And then they looked at me, they said, where are you from? They said, I'm from Canada. I said, oh, wow. Their light blew up, like as if Canada was the greatest country on earth. I'm like, I mean, we got snow. I mean, it's not all that hype, you know? It's not all that. But they were like, oh my God, Canada, okay? And then I'm like, <laughs> hold on, Canada. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> And then we just we started vibing, you know, back and forth, back and forth. And then like, they kind of asked me what I do for a living. And then when I said where I've been and where I'm going, they, 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 they looked at me like, man, you're living the life, bro. Like, I don't know about this cool thing, but, you know, my brother's in Canada. You know, he's over there, too. And, and, and it's like, I, I looked at them and said, listen, you're going to do something great. You're going to be a doctor. We need doctors, right? We need doctors. But there's one thing for sure that I know about doctors. I know about everybody else. They also like to travel. So it doesn't matter what they do for a living, what school, education, actually education they go get, right? It don't matter, right? It's no, it's no longer education, because education, that was, that was before when we thought it was the main thing. Now it's called education, because it's a business now, right? <laughs> you just pick up a diploma just because it's education. But they, they want to travel. They want to see the world. So I don't even have to pitch them the business. I could be like, hey, listen, I know you can afford 125 when you, once you graduate. You know that, right? <laughs> I know you can afford it, right? <laughs> I, know, I know you're good. You know, you know, we talk to someone and you know they got money and you, you don't try to pitch them something. You're just like, man, come on, man. I know you're good. You're good. You got this. All right, come on, you're good. <laughs> man, what, what are we talking about here? What are we talking about? I broke it down last night. I did it on my story. If you guys don't go check out my story. I did a story where I'm like, okay, so what, what's the total cost we're talking about to have a better life? What is the cost to have a better life? We took, we're talking about $249 plus the license, so $300, okay? Then let's just say you do you pull a Danny segment on because you feel the urge to not put money in your bank account for a whole year. Maybe, 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 right? So you do 11 months times 125. You take all that number out, it comes up to 1,600 and change, 70. You break that down to 12, you break that down to 30. You're under $5 a day. You're under $5 a day. So you mean to tell me I'm sitting here trying to convince you to invest less than $5 a day to have a better life? Man, you know what? Who, let me go pick up a Big Mac. Are you on? <laughs> what are you on? You know, I, I, you know, let me go pick up a Big Mac because it'll, be, it'll be easier than trying to tell you how I could save you and help you have a better life. For less than $5, you're not willing to take a chance? But yet, I saw on your Facebook, you ordered an extra large pizza with anchovy and all that good stuff on it, man. And that won't get you more money. I'm, I'm, like, I mean, you know how many people are walking around with brand new iPhones and Samsung that cost a thousand plus dollars? Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, and by the way, don't forget, even of that money you're spending, if you work your business like a business, you get to write off your house, spouse, kids, meals, travel, entertainment. Next thing you know, that can offset the taxes you pay at your place of business. You're now saving three to 500 a month in taxes. So even if you're paying 125 to us, but you're saving, call it $100 a week, right? You're saving 400 a month. You're spending 125 with us, but you're saving 400 a month in taxes. That means you are now $275 ahead financially. Thanks to Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam's paying you $275 cash to go on vacation and you need to think about it. Mm -hmm. Whose side you are say? you on? <laughs> now, I get if you want to go validate that with your own tax professional, you can Google it. You can Google, are there any advantages to a home-based business? You can Google that right now. You can go validate, is that true? And when you come back, you're like, oh my gosh, that is true. How come no one told me that? How come they're not teaching me that in school? How come I did not learn that in school? And so again, I mean, it's a little frustrating, but we're out here kind of screaming in the wind. They want to give a shout out to uh, Heather Trayfoot who wrote, my Starbucks costs more than that every day. My buddy, Jeff Trayfoot, who's sleeping with one eye open. That's an inside joke. Uh, <laughs> Heather and Jeff are married, right? And the other day she goes, so this thing's will but inheritable. And because she heard the story about Deborah Taylor, I go, yeah. 
So if something happened to Jeff, I would still get his check and I get his travel points. I go, yeah. And she goes, really? And I go, Jeff, you might want to start sleeping one eye open, buddy. <laughs> anyway, we're just having fun, right? They're, they're great. They're out there. Actually, they drive truck. Uh, they both drive trucks. She drives a truck. He drives a truck. Uh, they're out on the road. They're building the business you know, from the road. Uh, they're going to be in Cancun with us, by the way. You guys are going to meet Jeff and Heather in Cancun. Um, Heather decided that just recently she wants to be one of those people and wants to get in front of the room and do what you've done, Tanya. And get in front of the room, do what you've done, Kayla. You know, get in front of the room and do what you've done, Danny. I'm going to get up and, you know, you know give a talk and, and build a business and work her way out of the truck and, and just live life on her terms, right? Uh, by the way, if you don't know this, driving down the road, driving that truck, it beats you up. It, 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 it beats you up in a big, in a big time way. Um, you know, they're both young enough. They're still doing it. And at the same time, I mean, even in the early, you know, you know, I mean, even when you're in your, your late thirties, early forties, it still beats you up. I mean, so anyway, they're out there doing it, but they want to get out of that. And there's countless people, whether they're doctors, I got a doctor in my business. He's a surgeon, Dr. Paul Leo. He goes to the hospital early in the morning, the surgeries all day. He's there late at night doing chart work. And every time I talk to him, he's like, Todd, man, I got to get this thing going. Man, you got to help me. I got, I got to get out of here. You mean, I mean, this thing's killing me. He's a surgeon. And I tell him about Danny Segment all. And he's like, man, I'd do anything to be that guy. I mean, you don't have to go get an MD, guys, to have the life that even the doctor envies, right? To have the life the doctor envies. Danny's got a multiple, multiple six-figure business. It's only getting bigger every single day. Every time he goes on another trip, more people join. He says, hmm, they could go to Sri Lanka. Hey, put it on social media. Hey, more people want to join. And so the more fun I have, the more money I make, right? And so there is another side of this you can work your way to. So, yeah, I know that we're 45 minutes after the top of the hour. Uh, you know, Miss Kayla, thank you so much for coming on and sharing your story. Uh, Miss Tanya, same thing with you. Appreciate that. I know we had Alicia Davis out there. I was trying to get her on. I, I get it. I mean, I didn't set anybody up. I mean, you might be in a bad position. You could be in your bathroom for all I know. And so anyway, you might be driving the bus right now. She drives city bus, but um, taking 23 family members on vacation to Putacana. I mean, all-inclusive resort, all the food, all the booze, the absolutely incredible. Danny, you've been there twice now. You spent a month at Putacana. Um, and so, I mean, we got to Demond on here, I know. Demond's been on countless trips with the company. I mean, been all kinds of incredible places. So you can go to our, our Facebook page, Dream Trips. People are posting there all the time. I encourage all of you to post there. It creates a one central place that people can go. And like, my gosh, look at all the people all traveling, all these different incredible places, incredible prices. Man, this is, it's, this is true. It's that social proof, right? And so you, every time you post there, you're helping somebody else see the light, helping somebody else's dream come true. Hey, Danny, I'll give you the final word, my friend. Like you said, you know, it's just been common sense. We're here to make money. We have to, we're here to help people have a better life. If you're not allergic to money, hey, we got you. If you love to travel, we got you. Simple as that. That's it. We're just trying to help you get out of that rat race, that that dream, uh, that that drug that the government gave you, which is, hey, you know, keep working, keep working, and, you know, don't worry about having dreams. We're trying to break that. We're trying to help every single person to obtain their dream and, you know, less than $5. What else can I say? The small investment could change your life. Hey, what was that quote you always say? A job is the drug they give you to give up on your dream. How's that go? Yes, yes. A job is a drug that they give you to keep you away from your dreams. Mm. The more you keep working that job, the more you're keeping away from your dreams. Yeah, you start settling. Yeah, you know, maybe, yeah, maybe this is my lot in life, right? You know what I mean? So, hey, again, nothing wrong with the job. Pay the bills. But, guys, part-time, easy to work your way out of it. Hey, appreciate all of you guys. We'll be back on Saturday with uh, Daryl and Maria Roberts. I'll be on an airplane, so this will not be on Facebook Live. It's going to be recorded, and we'll get it on Facebook later, but we're not going to be able to broadcast live uh, at that time. Um, and so anyway, so uh, uh, Daryl will be here. Uh, Danny will probably be here. I know that Daryl's probably going to line up a couple of incredible guests. I know we've got a couple of incredible videos. Uh, he's going to show you in addition to some other things. New Orleans is two weeks away from this upcoming Saturday. You can still buy a plane ticket. You can still buy a bicycle. You can still buy some roller skates. You can still buy a tent. Right. So I got my roller skates. I got my tent on my back. I'm roller skating my way to New Orleans. I'm going to be there for the training because it can absolutely change your life. I don't care how you get there. I don't care if there's 22 people in a room. It does not matter. Just be there. It can absolutely change your life. And with that, we'll close it out for tonight. Hey, Danny, have fun in uh, Bangkok. Hey, one more time on The View. 
as we close oh, this thing yes. out one more yes, time on yes, the view yes. bangkok thailand look at that only thing we're missing guys is you have a great evening god bless everybody bless more